Hey guys, it's your boy Pugcore. Welcome back to a brand new video, and I hope each one of you guys is doing well today. So for today's video, we're going to be checking out some new, The Amity Affliction, Like Love. I'm really, really excited for this one. Um, the Amity Affliction is one of those bands that... They just got like a very deep meaning to me. Just because of the fact that they talk about a lot of a lot of stuff like mental health, depression, suicide, stuff like that. So it's something that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, because personally, I go through... Uh, I've gone through a great amount of anxiety and some depression and stuff like that. So it's definitely something that... You know, whenever they drop a video, I know I'm going to be in my feels, you know. <laughs> it's just how it is. But, yeah, I'm really excited to check this one out. And I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Kevin Yates over at FYM Reacts. I'll leave the, I'll leave his um link to his channel or to the video. He did a reaction to the same song that I'm doing right now. So, if you guys want to check him out. Feel free to check him out. He's a good friend of mine. Um, yeah, very sound dude. He's got a he's got a very good heart. So, yeah. So, I mean, I think I've done enough chatting. I just want to get into the video and see what it has to offer. So let's just get into it. Three, two, one, let go. Oh, let me pause this for a second. Trigger warning, implied drug use and suicidal themes. Well, that's kind of what I come to expect by um, Amity Affliction, but let's just dive on into the feels. I already know it's going to be a feelsy one. Drop it on the tongue like love. Even though. Oh my god. background screams are crazy. It's really good. Such a catchy chorus. Over. 
This is really heavier than their last album. So much heavier than their last album, except for that one song. Um, All My Friends Are Dead. Jesus. Alrighty. So that was the Amity Affliction Like Love official music video. Man, when I say the Amity, uh, when I say the Amity Affliction, always, always brings the feels. I really mean that. It's just crazy how. Ah, uh, it's just. It's just crazy the emotion that they bring into their music. And I'll never I'll never forget when I like first got into the Amity Affliction. It was really it was really like um what song was it? I think it was Pittsburgh that I got into. That was probably a lot of people's um perhaps gateway into Amity Affliction and I know a lot of people like that that song a lot it's their most popular song um in terms of views on youtube and spotify and stuff like that but um yeah that song that song really hit me when i first heard the amity affliction and it's just like like whichever song they drop you just know that's gonna be really a deep-seated kind of emotion that they that they talk about whether it's you know anxiety depression you know substance abuse you know just to kind of deal with all that pain and personally it's it's hard to get into this into this kind of um Like for me, I've gone through bouts of depression, anxiety for many, many, many years. I've gone through hell and back to try to, to try to get up and kind of crawl my way out of that. And it's just, their songs like remind me of, you know, how there's like a lot of people that are going through the same struggles as I was going through and that I still am going through. And I can never, I can never find the words to like kind of thank this band and as a whole for what they've kind of what they've done to me, you know, what they've, the meaning that they have in my life, you know, it's hard to find a band that's kind of affected me as much as the Amity Affliction has. Um, in terms of a song, if I, if I just get into how it was as a whole, you know, this song was really heavy and really nice i feel like it's a return to the amity affliction that i really have come to love you know i always like the heavier side of the amity affliction don't get me wrong i do like 
the lighter stuff that they put out. But this song was really nice and it had a catchy chorus. And um, I really like um, Joel's, um, I think that's his name, Joel, Joel Birch. I really like his um, vocal style. His screams are very raw and emotional. Definitely, definitely one of the top tier um, vocalists, in my opinion, just because he can go, you know, he has an amazing set of cleans, which I discovered with the band in their last couple of albums. Just amazing what he can do. If I'm going to give the song a rating, I'd probably give it like, I'd give it close to a 10. Maybe a little under a 10. But it was close to perfection for me. It was... It was really nice. I'm really, really excited to see what the Amity Affliction has to offer. Um, coming up, because... They released music not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken, right? They released an album... Um, I'm pretty sure in 2020, or was it 2021? I'm not even sure. But the fact that they're just bringing out all this music is crazy. And I'm looking through the comments over uh, the description, and it says, This song is dedicated to our dear friends. I don't know if it's Seen or Sean Kennedy. Um... Written and directed by Joel Birch. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you know, he's pretty talented with the camera work that he's that he's been doing, you know. I followed some of his pages and stuff like that, and I've seen that he likes his camera and stuff like that. So that's really, really cool that he uh, directed this song. I didn't mention this earlier, but if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that like button, feel free to subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys very shortly in the next video. Peace out. Drop it on the tongue like